Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, we're diving into one of the most powerful yet often overlooked features in Odoo, the client action. Client actions let you take full control of the Odoo web client, from reloading views dynamically to triggering custom JavaScript, and even creating interactive interfaces without reloading the page. If you're an Odoo developer aiming to enhance the front end or simply interested in making your modules more intuitive, and user friendly, this video is perfect for you. So let's get it started. First, we need to set up a basic client action. Inside the static folder, create a new directory called src, create another folder named actions. As this is a client action, let's add a new file named clientactions.js. In Odoo 18, you don't need to declare add Odoo module, just simply import what you need. Since we need to register a new client action, let's import registry from web core registry. Let's just simply create a new function, poll client action, and this function just console log poll client action. Then let's register this function under the actions category by calling the add method, which accepts two parameters. The first parameter will be the name of the client action. Let's call it poll client action. The second parameter will be the function which is poll client action. For this to work, let's add this to the manifest file under assets, web.assets backend, and add the actions folder under the src folder and use glab syntax to import all files inside this folder. Now let's see how we can test this. One way is to call it from the backend. Let's do that by adding a new method in any model like poll.question. Let's define a new method, action poll client action. Calling the client action can be called by returning a dictionary having a type ir.actions.client and a tag to specify the name of the client action. In our case, let's add the client action we created, which is poll client action. Now let's add a new button to the form view by duplicating this existing button. Change the name to action poll client action. The string to client action and remove the class. Let's restart Odoo and upgrade the module. Then let's activate the debug mode and open poll module. Okay, the new button has been added, but before we try, let's inspect and open the console tab. Now, let's click the client action button. And there you go, we got the console lag which means the client action works. Client actions take two parameters, env and action. Let's lag these parameters to the console. After reloading the page, click on the client action to see the output in the console. The env parameter provides access to various services such as notification, while the action parameter contains the client action data, including context domain, and other relevant parameters. For the environment, let's access the services and make use of the notification service by calling the add method with the message, this is a client action. After reloading the page, click on the client action and the notification service should work as expected. You can also try out different services that you like. Next, let's try the action parameter. This is beneficial if you want to pass important information from the current action and current model data. Let's say you want to add a new context. Let's add a context key and pass an object. Let's say default name has polling. You can also add any parameter like if you want to get all answer IDs of the current record. Let's add answer IDs with a value of self that answer IDs that IDs and add the new params like the current record ID and its name. Let's restart Odoo. Go back and click again the client action button. Under the lags, we can now see all the action values which you can use to process something. Now, if you want to create a more complex functionality with a user interface, we need to convert this to a component. The best example will be the discuss module which using a client action instead of the normal a window action. Using client action, you are free to design how you want your app works. 
let's first create a new folder components and inside create a new folder Paul Dashboard. Then create a new file Paul Dashboard.js. In this file, let's import component from Odoo All and registry from Web Core Registry. Create a new class Paul Dashboard that extends all component. In order for the component to work, we need to add a template and name it Paul Dashboard, which we will create in a moment. Then let's register this to the actions category by calling the add method. Let's name it Paul Dashboard. And this action will return the Paul Dashboard component we just created. Then for the template, create a new file, Paul Dashboard. Let's define a new template by simply using the tdn active and add a tname attribute to define the template name. Let's name it Paul Dashboard. Inside this template, simply create a new div with class p3 and an h1 Paul Dashboard. Then let's add this to the manifest file, duplicate this code, and change actions to components, as well as include all files inside the subfolders. Now let's create a client action record and a menu item for us to be able to show the component we created. Under the Paul views file, let's add a new record with ID action Paul Dashboard. Model as ir.actions.client. Let's name it Dashboard and a tag to define the client action Paul Dashboard we registered. Then under the Paul menus.xml, create a new menu item having an ID as menu Paul Dashboard. Name as Dashboard, action as the client action we created. Let's copy and paste. And lastly, add a sequence as one as well as to the Paul question to 10. Let's restart Odoo, go back and upgrade the module. Open our polling app, and there you go, the dashboard component has been rendered successfully. However, if we activate again the bug with assets, notice that we have a warning message. We need to add static props. For client actions, Odoo 18 defines a standard action service props from web, web client, actions, action service. Let's import that and add it under the static props using the spread operator. Go back and reload the page. And now the warning message is gone. Now you can define the user interface and functionalities you want. Odo uses the latest Bootstrap CSS version. So you can simply design the user interface you want. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.